Now remove the flywheel nut. Well, that's kind of odd. This started out as a simple repair on this Maxi. It came back because it was kind of stalling. It would miss randomly at idle and just shut off. And I thought, and I really couldn't figure out what it was. I was thinking it was condenser. So I was gonna do a quick video on replacing your condenser. And when I went to take off the flywheel, the flywheel nut was completely stuck. So I got it off and the threads are crap. I believe what happened was the flywheel nut had a burr on the end and so as it was tightened down it got tight and it felt like it was on good but the flywheel is a little bit loose so it rattled around and rounded off the woodruff key and then it would make the ignition miss and it would die. I got the wrong one sent to me so I returned it. I'm getting another one tomorrow but in the meantime I have this thread repair chaser that we're going to try out. I don't I haven't used this before, so I don't know how well it's gonna work, but it was expensive and it says it's gonna work. You can see the end of the threads here are pretty goobered up. Also, I'm filming this one with a different lens than I normally do. Normally, I use a Canon RF lens and the lens I'm using right now is from an old 70s Canon uh, fully manual film camera that my buddy Mark let me try out to see if I like it or not. So hopefully it's a little bit different of a look, but you like it. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna zip tie this so it's out of my way. Okay. So this is the tool. It says you just simply open it and put it on and then tighten it and then rotate it in the direction It seems too easy, but we'll see. That was one pass. It, it looks a little bit nicer. Huh. I'm gonna do just a couple more. I watched Decker from the Casserolers do it once. I don't remember what he was doing, but I think it worked. It seems like it may have worked but the threads are pretty gross. I'm gonna wait until I get the, the dye and I'm gonna run the dye down it and try to clean it up that way. I had high hopes for this little thing, but it didn't quite work for what I needed it to do. Okay, welcome back. I went and ordered this thread repair dye. It's similar to a thread dye, but it's open larger on the outside and it's more for repairing threads so we're gonna try that i'm gonna do it by hand first just to see if there's any burrs and if it'll go that went pretty good all right let's try the nut that's pretty good all right i think we repaired those threads I will double check this timing later. Now put the woodruff key back in and then your flywheel making sure you line up the woodruff key. <clears throat> Alright everybody, it turns out that this uh, universal thread restorer didn't work out that great for this purpose. Uh, it might be better on something that's softer metal or not hardened but it didn't work great on the crank. The thread repair die worked excellent. So I would recommend getting these. I got this from McMaster Car. The thread repair die worked excellent. So I would recommend getting these. I got this from McMaster Car. You can get these anywhere, but I got it from McMaster Car because it was an odd size. It was an M10 by one. Uh, so it was a little bit harder to find. All right, we fixed this crank. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Please like and subscribe.